Hello, I'm David Chaston with 90 at 9, brought to you by interest.co.nz. This week at Everything You Need to Know in 90 seconds at 9 o'clock, with news equity markets on Wall Street are 1.5% lower today. But first, we have some important data from the US Census Bureau. American household incomes jumped in 2015, delivering the first increase in eight years, with the largest gains at the bottom fifth of earners. The overall 5.2% jump was the largest since they began releasing this data nearly 50 years ago. This is not the usual selective and negative and election narrative, but it does confirm other separate surveys of rising incomes. In China, a slew of data points reported late yesterday, from factory output to retail sales, showed rebounding economic activity in, in China in August after a wobbly few months. And it appears all this is being underpinned by a strong resurgence of investment spending, especially by state-owned enterprises. That represents a setback in their plans to rebalance to a consumer economy. The fall-off in foreign investment seems pretty dramatic and keeps the overall data low. It seems the current costs of, rebalance, of the rebalancing policy are not something they want to bear. China's plans to become self-sufficient in key agricultural products has prompted the US to take it to the WTO, accusing Beijing of rigging farm trade markets. No small irony here for New Zealanders. Still, it's election season in the US, so that's perhaps understandable. Eurozone consumer sentiment bounced back from its post-Brexit lows. While the German components were a disappointment, the overall region saw growing optimism in this closely watched survey. In New York, the US Treasury 10-year yield is higher again today, now at 1.73%. The oil prices slipped sharply in today's trading, with the US benchmark price now just under $45 a barrel, while the Brent benchmark is just over $47 a barrel. Gro global oil demand growth is slowing at a faster pace than initially predicted. That's according to the latest IEA oil market report for September. And the gold price is lower too, but less dramatically, now just under $1,320 an ounce. New Zealand dollar opens lower as well on a stronger US dollar. It is now at 72.6 US cents, 97.2 Aussie cents and 64.6 Euro cents. The TWI is now at 76.1. I'm David Chaston and that was 90 at 9, brought to you by interest.co.nz.